In this part, we will be discussing about the female uh, strobili of uh, Natum. It is similar to that of the male strobili. The image in front of us is of the old female cone as well as the female cone bearing the seeds. We have this stout axis centrally. This stout axis has a region called as node regions. So these are the nodal regions and internodal region. Nodal region usually bear a ring of 4 to 10 ovules. So these rings are arranged one above the other. Now all the ovule present at the nodal region are not going to develop into a seed. They are not going to mature all. Some are aborted. These are called as an aborted ovules. And very few are going to mature and lead to formation of what is called as seed. Now next we will be discussing about the longitudinal section of the ovule, the netum ovule. So this is the image of a longitudinal section of the ovule which usually shows uh, two ends. One is micropyle end, another one is a chelazi end. Now ovule is surrounded by envelopes. Three envelopes will be there. Outer envelope, middle one, this is outer, middle and the inner envelope. Outer envelope is uh, considered to be a perianth. Perianth nothing but uh, outermost covering which is thick and succulent. Succulent in the sense it is fleshy in nature. And the anatomy of the middle envelope is similar to that of the outer envelope. And uh, coming to the inner envelope, this inner envelope is going to elongate, elongate above the apical region. So it is going to elongate above the apical cleft and lead to formation of a tube-like structure. This tube is called as a micropyle tube. This is a region where the entry of the uh, pollen grains takes place. And they are going to uh, land in the pollen chamber followed by there is a formation of a pollen tube. So this structure is nothing but a pollen tube which we will be discussing very soon. And inner to this we have this nucellus followed by the female gametophyte. Now uh, the female gametophyte of the netum shows two zones. One is the cellular part lower region whereas the upper is the free nuclear part. Uh, Nuclei of the female gametophyte are going to divide and re-divide without the cell wall formation and they are distributed uniformly towards this entire female gametophyte. This is the early stages of the development. As soon as the vacuole begins to develop centrally, these nuclei they start to move towards the peripheral region and the upper part of this female gametophyte there is no cell wall formation whereas a cell wall formation takes place in the lower region and that too at a very slow rate it is like the cell wall start to begin from the lower part and it is going to raise above so we have two zones here apart from that there is no formation of a archegonia this uh, character is similar to that of a angiosperm that's the reason netum is called as a connecting link between the angiosperms and the gymnosperms. There is no formation of the archegonia. Then how the eggs are formed? Some of the nuclei, these free nuclei which are towards the upper region, especially the nuclei towards the micropyle end, they are going to uh, enlarge themselves uh, by accumulation of this dense cytoplasm and they are going to act as an egg. Some uh, 3 to 4 nuclei are going to develop and act as an egg. There is no formation of the archegonia here. And from the chalaza end, vascular bundle are going to enter. From here, this is the entry point for vascular bundle for the supply of nutrient as well as water. So this was a description regarding the uh, female strobili and uh, longitudinal section of the ovule of Nita. Thank you.